Hi guys, little tutorial for you today. Um, changing your NAT settings from strict or moderate to hopefully open, or at least something better than uh, what it is on there, as you see. Um, strict NAT basically means that you can only connect to other strict NAT peoples. You'll find it a right challenge trying to get to anyone, uh, anyone open or moderate. Um, Moderate NATs mean you can connect to anyone who's got a moderate or an open NAT, and open is the best, uh, can connect to anyone. Uh, right now I'm just showing you how I've got my um, home network, home internet set up if you like. I've got my BT uh, 2.0 router there. Um, got my ethernet cable running all the way down here, because uh, I can't get wireless in my room. So I've resorted to strapping one long ethernet cable down to my router, which anyway yeah ethernet cable comes over here and down to my router as you can see now there we go um, ethernet's going to the far port on the right uh, that one just there that's where all my internet's coming through no ADSL connections here uh, two connections there both for my Xboxes one JTAG and one normal and the final one running to my PC so this is just how I've got it set up and uh, this might mean it's slightly different from how I describe it to how you uh, need to connect it or whatever but hopefully it'll be you know bang straightforward anyway Okay, so as soon as you've booted up your uh, PC, go ahead and start up an internet browser using Firefox here. Uh, go up to the address bar right at the top and put in your router's um, IP address to get to the home page of it. Mine happens to be 192.168.1.254. If you look in the description of the video, there's going to be a few, um, uh, a few like standard ones there. If you like, um, if yours isn't listed there, then use Google to find out whatever yours is. It's not particularly tricky. Um, mine's BT Home Hub, so I'm loading up this page. Uh, for those of you that have got exactly the same as me, you can just follow what I'm doing exactly. If not, there's going to be some slight variation in whatever you do um, on your specific router. Um, but there's also a website which will guide you through it. It's called uh, portforward.com, all one word, and I will stick that in the description as well. So do go and check that out. You can select your router, type and whatever on there. Uh, one thing that I'm going to suggest that you do do if you can, though, is... Okay, you see here that I'm going to, uh, all, this is all the devices on my network, and my Xbox is just there. If you look on the um, system settings tab of your Xbox, and then go to um, network settings, you can check your, root, your, your Xbox's IP address, and the IP address on there, I've matched up with the IP address on here, so I know that this all corresponds to the router. Um, now what you want to do, if you can, is click always use this IP address. Uh, you want to try and create a static IP address for your Xbox. That will stop it from changing every time uh, you sign on. It will stop it from being a dynamic IP. And although not being essential, will sort of uh, it, it will help with the port forwarding process. So once you've done that, I'm going to head over to application sharing. Uh, basically, if you're not on this router, you want to look for something along the lines of um, I don't know, like port forward or uh, some sort of port forwarding service on your router. Um, to wait for it to load. There you go. So I want to click Add New Game or Application. No, I don't. Okay, so I'm going to call mine. Um, I don't know. Xbox Port Forward. And here is where you enter all your port ranges, and you know whatever else here. So the first port, port rather, is Protocol TCP. Uh, port range is going to be 53. 53, oh crap, that's not good, 53, uh, 53, 53, 53, uh, protocol trigger is TCP as well, and just click add, and you'll see it pop up right there, next one's TCP again, and it's going to be 80, 80 all the way, uh, TCP again is finished, click add, uh, the last one is 30, 74, 3074, and I'm just going to copy that one, paste it in there, and again to TCP, click add, so you've got three TCPs to TCPs. Uh, you then want to change it once to a uh, UDP, but make sure you keep the trigger protocol as TCP. Uh, port range here is going to be 53. 53, 53, 53. So your UDP to TCP, add, there you go. Uh, next one is another UDP to TCP, and the port range is 3074 again. Click add just there. And the last one is another UDP to TCP, and that's going to be 88. Oops, 88, 88, 88. And click and add just there. Okay, so you've got three TCPs to TCPs and three UDPs to TCPs. <sighs> right. If
guess that's not complicated enough. Um, I don't know what it is. So then go ahead and click apply. It'll make all these changes changes for you. And okay, so I've set it up in my one is there. I uh, you might not need to do this, but I'm going on the BT Home Hub to configuration and selecting Xbox port forward, the one which I just made, and the device. Now um, this is where knowing your um, your IP address helps. You can just put it in there if you want. But I know that mine's Xbox normal, so I'm going to click add there. Awesome. Click apply. And that's it. All done. Uh, let's head over to the Xbox again and find out what uh, what's been going on. Okay, so uh, learning on the Xbox, and the first thing that we see after we sign in is that your NAT type is now open. This means you can connect to everybody, and you know they can connect to you, whatever. You can talk, chat, <laughs> make love, whatever. Anyway, if I've helped, please remember to subscribe. That would be uh, most helpful in these current circumstances. And um, yeah, that's about it for me. See you next time for another tutorial.